One of the first things we learned about early human history is that men used to be hunters and women used to be gatherers. So tell me why I was today years old when I found out that 30 to 50% of hunters may have been female this whole time. Flashback to 2020 when a researcher from my university realized that the body they had just dug up with a bunch of hunting tools around it was the body of a female. They were like, that is surprising. We should look into it. So they checked out data from 400 other burial sites and found that of the 27 hunters that had been dug up, 11 of them were female. That is a third of all the hunters, y'all. Obviously to the general public, this was like massive news. But at the same time, people were going on TV saying, hold your horses, Feminist oriented archaeologists have known this for a really long time. Y'all just weren't listening. Now here's the deal when it comes to archaeology and ancient history in general, we're always playing a little bit of a guessing game. Like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to know for sure whether females were hunters or not. What I will say with sociological certainty is that when we are evaluating science, we are always imprinting our own biases onto the data that we see. It means that if archaeologists expect that only men were hunters, they're going to look for evidence that supports that. And it's possible that if females were hunters all this time, that information could have just gone right over their heads. 